Okay, everybody, back here for the one hour update. And the noise you're hearing is not the cooler freezer, it's actually my dishwasher. I didn't think about making this video when I started it. So that's the noise you're hearing, not the freezer cooler. You can hear the sound. I, I was quiet and listened to it earlier. And again, you can see the dog doesn't even care about the dishwasher running and things rattling around in there. So this is an hour in, and we are at five degrees according to the freezer itself, the medic. And according to my thermometers, I'm at 3.4 degrees. How awesome is that? And I'm also at 33.8 on that um, warmer shelf over there. So as of right now, if I had it set right here, I could keep stuff from freezing on the top shelf and have everything frozen in the bottom. And I'm super, super excited. Like I said, I took out the divider wall and everybody I talked to and I asked the question, if I took out the divider freezer wall, would everything become that same temperature and be that cold? And nobody knew the answer to that. So as of right now, I'm saying yes, it does. So again, I'm not trying to freeze water or nothing yet. I'm not trying to freeze any liquids. So it's just getting the actual freezer itself that temperature and getting the air that temperature. So once I get it down to, I don't know what I'm, exactly what temps, I'm going to probably let it run down until it actually kicks off at that negative, you know, six or so, probably range, maybe negative four or five. I'll be happy with that. I'll throw in a um, jug of tea or water and see how long it takes to get cool and go from there. Actually, now I think about that, I have a um, tea jug that's room temperature of about half full, about a half a liter of, of tea at room temperature. I'm going to go ahead and actually um, leave that sitting out. I'll put that in there and see how long it takes to get um, frosty and uh, frozen and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's all I got for right now for part three of this. It's been an hour. And like I said, we started out at virtually 70 degrees in there. We're now down at 2.8 degrees. That is just absolutely phenomenally awesome. I cannot tell you how happy and how stoked I am about this. The only real thing I'm going to have a concern with is how long it's going to last on my battery power. So definitely, definitely super excited about all this. And that will be to come. I'll probably throw a solar on the kit eventually on uh, my van and an extra batteries and stuff to make it go. But for right now, I'm going to be doing a lot of driving with this trip. So I'm going to use the actual motor to charge the batteries back up, and that's my hope. So I'll talk to you all soon and let you know. I don't know, maybe when I'll just keep an eye on it, see if I can tell when it gets down to temp, and let you know how long it actually took. So take care. Thank you all for watching. Uh, feel free to hit the like, subscribe button, and whatever you do, get out there and stay positive.